Yo, 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 it's your boy D-Star coming to you live from the pad, about to give it to you raw, and I'm about to keep it 1,000. Can't wait until LeBron puts on a Laker jersey. All right, so look, the Lakers lost to the Minnesota Timberwolves, the new look Minnesota Timberwolves with Jimmy Butler, and this is a pretty damn good team. You got to consider that the Minnesota Timberwolves, at minimum, you know, just let's just say at minimum, are expected to be, to make the playoffs. That's a playoff team. I, I don't really want to go into the breakdowns, but you figure Golden State, Golden State, uh, OKC, San Antonio Spurs, Houston, uh, all of these teams that are on the West that bolstered up their rosters. And now that the West is so heavy with talent, you you figure uh, even with all of that, the the Minnesota Timberwolves are expected to make it the playoffs. The Lakers aren't. Most people are looking at the Lakers like we're a joke. This is pretty much Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram show. Let's see what Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram can do this season. Now, this is also the season where Julius Randle and Larry Nash Jr. are going to pretty much battle it out for that power forward spot. But I am looking at Kyle Kuzma like, wow, because the kid has game. He was on fire yesterday, had 19 points. Brandon Ingram didn't have such a great game, but I really wasn't worried about that. He was more aggressive. Than compared to last year he was far more aggressive and he even had like a great defensive play where I, I seen he, he blocked I forgot who he blocked was it Carl Anthony Towns but it was a hell of a defensive play I don't really worry about Brandon Ingram Brandon Ingram appears to be uh, a little bit more confident than what he was last year so he's going to be more aggressive and you want that and I've seen some people criticizing him in his shooting. But look, Kobe Bryant uh, shot a lot of basketballs. <laughs> some games he was on, other games he wasn't on. But he did whatever he had to do to put his team in a situation or sometimes get his team in a bad situation, shot us out of games. But he was a shooter, right? So Brandon Ingram is going to have, it's going to, we're going to need somebody on the team. To take the shots and Brandon Ingram is looked at as a guy that will have to take these shots so uh, you know I'm, I'm looking at Brandon Ingram like you know you, you, you he's gonna have to be we need an offensive juggernaut somebody's gonna have to take shots so it's gonna have to be Brandon Ingram uh, or Cal Kuzma <laughs> but they're they're kind of in, in rotation because Brandon Ingram you got him in the game and then you can swap him out and put Kyle Kuzma in. Kyle Kuzma is so damn good. Uh, I'm, I'm going off one preseason pre game in the summer league, yeah. But against NBA competition, uh, this kid is still good. I mean, it doesn't matter which, where you put him in. He's money. So he, he's so damn good. He could possibly win six man of the year if he's backing up uh, Brandon Ingram. But that would depend on if the Lakers get close to a playoffs. Because, you know, usually they give the sixth man to somebody who's on a team where, you know, they have a chance at the playoffs. So, he's that good, though. He's really that good. He's He, he's, he can start. But I forgot to mention uh, KCP. Kentavious Caldwell Pope. Looking solid. He just as 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 I've said during the summer, he's a he's a player that can do everything decent, everything good. I was looking at uh, Corey Brewer. Corey Brewer had a couple games where it looked like he he went back in time on a fast break dunk. But Lonzo Ball had a decent game, uh, considering all the pressure and everything. It wasn't a triple double because you know if Lonzo Ball doesn't get a triple double, it's seen as a failure to some people. I seen one guy tweet out some ridiculousness, saying that Lonzo Ball 
finally sees that the NBA isn't like the summer league. Anyhow, uh, Lonzo Ball is, is, is fine. It's, it's, all, it's all about him going out here, doing what he does best, which is passing. But Luke Walton wanted him to be more aggressive offensively. He wanted him to take more shots because if you looked at the game, Lonzo Ball would kind of drive to the rim and pass up shots that he could have took to pass it to somebody else. And those some of those resulted in, in turnovers. Right? He only had three turnovers, but it was and it, it, he was almost to a point too unselfish for Luke Walton's uh liking. So he he kind of got on Lonzo about that, called him out and said, Hey man, you gotta take more shots. You know, I understand you want to make sure that everybody eats, but you got to eat too because we're going to need everybody's uh, offense. But you figure if you're putting out all of that energy defensively, you're going to be gassed on the offensive end. And that's what it looked like what happened to the Lakers, especially, I would say, the first half and the second half also because. Luke Walden had mentioned that also. He's like, man, we were gassed. We were, we were tired. And that comes with conditioning. So the NBA conditioning, you know, this is the beginning of the season. Just like the NFL, it's, it's going to be some of the sloppiest games that you ever see. But how the Lakers lost was because of those fouls. They had so many fouls because I guess they were being too aggressive with the defense. And they had too many fouls. So the Minnesota Timberwolves had shot the ball. I mean, had went to the free throw line 33 times. Made 28 of those free throws. Uh, and that's pretty much how they won the game. Shabazz Muhammad had a solid game. And who else am I? You know, Julius Randle had a solid game. J uh, Jordan Clarkson had a solid game. But... The big question is, uh, what's going to happen with the rotation once Brook Lopez com comes back? Because Zubats uh, will be uh, pretty much, he will be uh, third string because you already have Andrew Bogut. You have Andrew Bogut now on the team and Brook Lopez as a center. So... I'm really not that excited about Andrew Bogut because I figure he's like a he's like an Andrew Bynum. It depends on his health. If he's healthy, he's a, he's a decent he's a de decent pickup. But if he's not healthy, it's it's kind of like well, you know. But if he's a backup, he should be more than fine. So, uh, guys like Zubats may get barely any playing time. Uh, guys like Bryant barely might get any playing time. Dang, he's kind of like an afterthought. Like, he'll get time if somebody gets injured, like a Kyle Kuzma gets injured. But I wonder what they're going to do with the, the Luol Dang contract. As I was speaking with Urban Loves the Lakers, we were kind of talking about that. Like, man, what are they going to do by the All-Star break? Because you figure you have too many... You have too many guys that are playing that three slash four. You, you have Cal Kuzma, Larry Nance, Brandon Ingram, uh, Julius Randle. Uh, I mean, you have so many guys that can play that three slash four. And I wonder, I, re I really, I seriously wonder what will happen. What will the Lakers do? Because I know they have to get rid of uh, the Luol Deng contract. So I don't know if they're going to stretch him and cut him. Or if they're going to buy him out or what. I don't know. Uh, will be very interesting to see what the Lakers turn into. But considering that the Lakers went up against a team that is expected to be in the playoffs. At least I'm saying somewhere between in the top six. Uh, the Lakers did pretty well and have nothing to really trip out over. 
Uh, it's the same old, same old. Until next time, guys. It's your boy D Star. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.